Sinead O'Connor claimed she was being tormented by a stalker who she described as violent just days before she died. Taking to Twitter on July 12, the 56-year-old wrote, There is one stalker. Female. Violent. Again, never engage with anyone claiming they know me without asking my management. One fan responded, saying, Yes, I was contacted by someone purporting to be you. Before adding, Didn't sound like you, was looking for an email address so I could join a VIP group to get tickets. Helen Flanagan told to cover up or leave hotel restaurant over bikini issue she then took to Twitter a few days later to tell fans of her fears that a man had been impersonating her and messaging unsuspecting fans. She wrote, also a warning, previously an extremely disturbed male sexual predator pretended to be me on Twitter. Please never engage with anyone claiming to be any celeb, without confirming they are who they say. This can be achieved by contact with their management. A source told The Sun, Sinead felt very uncomfortable. She had started a new life in London, but this person was making her feel on edge. Sinead confided in people and said she'd had gifts she believed to be from this person. It was upsetting. Don't miss. Tom Carriage is trying to make sure we survive after Brexit hit restaurants. Reaction, Jane Fonda appears frail as she's helped off stage after speech. Latest, Jeremy Clarkson wades into James Martin Rowe saying he ignored rule number one, insight. The source also claimed that Sinead was working on a new album and had provisionally called it The Healing Stone. They continued, Sinead felt she was a surviving rock. She wanted to inspire people with the idea they could be the same things, strong and rooted to the earth, and survivors, just like her. Sinead was found dead at her London home on Wednesday after police attended the property to conduct a welfare check on the singer. Her family confirmed the news in a statement, It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Sinead. Her family and friends are devastated and have requested privacy at this very difficult time. The Nothing Compares to You star is survived by three children, whilst her second son Shane died last year at the age of 17. Whilst the Met Police have confirmed that there are no suspicious circumstances regarding her death, the case has been referred to the coroner, who will conduct a post-mortem to determine the cause of death.